and I'll just feel something. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Jake Andrews here, Blues Rock Guitar Lessons. I hope you are having a beautiful day. So, Hard to Be, it's the intro track off of the Vaughn Brothers Family Style record. Now this album was released in the fall of 1990 and unfortunately it came out about two weeks after Stevie Ray Vaughan passed away. So it was very bittersweet for a lot of people I'm sure. I remember my mom got me this album right when it came out when I was a kid. And when I first heard it, man, what a different sound on it. Completely different from anything Stevie Ray or Jimmy Vaughn had done before. The production on it, Niall Rogers, is amazing and completely different musicians on this. Double Trouble's not playing on this album. 
So really different sound, different material, and I just really dig it so much. And uh, so this is just a, a great rockin' up-tempo Texas rock and roll kind of tune. It's got some different changes in it. Now, the solo, I always thought it was Jimmy Vaughn because it's so clean and it's his style. But you know what? I figured out it's Stevie Ray trying to sound like Jimmy. And I'm sure it's Stevie Ray playing it. So y'all come in here close and I'm going to show you exactly how he's doing it. And we will look at the basics of the rhythm and the main riff as well. I'll see you in here. Okay, everybody. So I am actually tuned down to E flat, just like Stevie Ray Vaughan. And so because of that, I'm playing it in the B position. Now, if you're playing in standard, you could do this, but just play it in B flat. Okay. All right. So we're up here in my first position. Now, the rhythm is really just a up-tempo Chuck Berry, good rock and roll, okay? And for the main part of the verse and the chorus, we are just doing a one, four, five, okay? So when we come in on the intro, it's just kind of like. And then repeat it. just kind of that chunky Chuck Berry rhythm sounds really cool one four five now of course the main riff that's being played over that which kicks off the song we're starting here ring finger on that fifth string on the front of our box and it's really more of a major pentatonic lick okay we're sliding two three four one two, three, four, one. Now on the third time we do this. Okay, I bend it. Jimmy might slide a little bit uh, right there. Okay, and then. Okay, actually once again, I don't know if that's Jimmy or Stevie playing the main riff, but. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, now repeat it. comes in okay that's where the vocal comes in hard to be so we're gonna play right here once again just one four five well it's hard to be now repeat that verse to I'm calling it the bridge okay we're gonna go right down to an open E now you can't get this here if you're not if you're in standard you'll have to get an E up here but I go so it's kind of hit a big open E and let it ring out so that is the four and then we're coming up to F sharp the five and going now we're going to go to the six minor, which is going to be a G sharp. You could hit a bar chord minor. I'm getting it kind of like this. And then I'm going to go half a step to the flat seven, which is A. And then take it up to the five F sharp and just land on it. Okay, so once again. Okay, now we're right back into the verse. Looking through your past. Back to that intro. <laughs> 
So we repeat the whole thing again, go through the, the bridge. And then back one more time. one more time to the main riff. And that's where the lead comes in. Okay, so good. Get all that rhythm part down. It's pretty easy. And uh, then let's dive into the real meat of it, this uh, solo right here. Okay, so we're in B once again, or you're in B flat if you are not tuned down. We're going to start on the fifth here, and we're going to do this. Okay, that's our first big riff here. Okay, so. See, we're getting that major six back here. You know, that's like Texas Flood. Okay, so we're getting that major note here. And then we're also hammering into the major third here. Getting the major here, which is the six, okay? Okay, so we're getting a lot of major pentatonic notes here. First string, and then it kind of gets these double notes. Okay, and then pull it back here. Roll it up, and then flatten it into that double stuff. Let's do all this together, watch. And you'll have to work on that timing, that phrasing. Okay, now we kind of started, the, well, we started the same way. So that's the same. Now we get this little seventh. See, back and forth there, okay. And then, so hit that again. Then we're going to slide into the second box. So I double pick that. Slight bend there. All right, good. Now we're up here in the second box. So. And now we're going to do this. This is a common blues lick. Jimmy Vaughn plays it. Stevie plays it. All the blues guys do it. We're going to pull off here on the second string and then pull it back into my second, in my first box. So it's a pull off and then slide it back here without picking it again. So that whole lick or double pick. Okay. That's this whole riff we're doing. Listen. Pull it back here. A, a lot of rolling on the string, so y'all get ready for that. So. All right, so you see that? He goes. 
pull it, roll to the four string, and back down. So I go third string, second string. Up to the third string. Four string. And then fall down into these double stops. Actually, that might be minor. And then top it off by going. So. Pause. Okay. Now, again, we're getting these double. So I'm going to get those quickly here, like. Okay, so I, I start off with those doubles. And bend the second string slightly. See that roll in there? That's like BB, Freddy, Eric Clapton. Okay. Uh, and then kind of repeat. So I double pick that bend. Actually, I kind of pick it on the way up. All right, let's try that again. Got ahead of myself. That's our whole chunk we're working on. Okay, so after. Uh, once again, pull this half step. Roll it up. And then do this lick. We're picking that. Up to the fifth string and do this kind of like the intro lick. So. Drop to the first string here and we're going to bend it. All right, let's go over that. So I do this major pentatonic lick. Drop. Roll to the second. And then first, the funny lick, you have to be able to kind of roll it up there. And so, so that whole section is. Are you with me? Okay. So it doesn't really stop there. After we go to the minor pentatonic note here on the first string. So I bend. Second. So there's a straight minor lick there. All right. That's where we play the next lick. All right, that's our next little chunk here. So a slight bend, it's like a half bend. Once again, he kind of picks it again on the way up. So once again, really got to get used to this rolling technique. See, the point of it is, guys, is guys and gals, is that we don't want to actually jump the note and sound real choppy like that. We want to be able, we're kind of like hinging there so we can get that smooth transition, okay? And as I said, Freddie King, BB King, Clapton, 
using this constantly in their playing, okay? So you really kind of have to work on mastering that. Be a little higher on the string than you normally would, okay? So. We go up into that second box. And notice all these subtle little partial bends. And then. So. Now I do one more lick here. So I'm going to take it from here and play the rest. So. was a mouthful. So there's a big run on lick we're going into, okay? So after then we're going to double pick this again. So two bends All right there on those four notes. Now we do that lick kind of we did earlier where I go pull off and slide. So. So I do that. And now he goes. We're going to get this major note here. So. So that next piece goes. Once again, I'm doing those rolls. A lot of repetition here. It's really fast and it's really clean. So that's why it's so cool though, but it is tricky. Okay. So. See how he adds that in? Once again, roll. That's where we're getting the double stop. And then roll up here and go. Woo! Yeah, so. Can you believe it? We end the solo almost on the identical lick we started on. So. So that whole last run. Right there, the vocal starts for the... just repeating what we did earlier okay all right let me play that whole solo through one more time slowly okay so we're coming out of
Yeah, very cool phrasing. So you'll have to work on that. Play along with me. You can even find the track on YouTube and slow it down to 75%. And uh, best of luck, my friends. All right, I hope you all enjoyed that. Hard to be by the Vaughn Brothers. Of course, go and check out the entire album if you haven't before. And uh, see if you can work that up, play along with it. And I'll see you next time. Now, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you can get email notifications from me every time I put out a new free video like this. And I'll see you next time.